It is close on two decades since a young Zulu actress born at Bargwanath Hospital and raised in a township found herself offered a bit part in an Afrikaans soapy. Embracing the idea that there are no small parts, only small actors, she turned that role into a household name that's made her career. Hello there, the Insider SA. My name is Nobuhle Mimi Masasela. You guys know me as Aggie from Sea of Underland. So today we will be taking a tour around Soweto in these amazing rides. I hope it can hold my weight. Asambe Nsoban, let's go. <laughs> Lewu is a township guy who actually had a vision and uh, he wanted to change uh, the mindset, you know, and create a bit of an ecosystem, you know, where people can actually make a living from, looking at the ecosystem or looking at the, the status of the economy today in the country, more especially in the townships. He wanted to actually, you know, bring change in the townships because now when tourism was introduced, it only came in enclosed vehicles. People taking pictures from the other side of, you know, the window. But Lebu was there to say, guys, please come through and experience us. And that's where now, obviously, was a quick thing. I quickly went out uh, to the local guys, started borrowing the bikes, and now, obviously, taking the guys through the townships on a bike. That's how the dream started. Isn't Engis Bonile on the tour? Obviously, the iconic uh, Hector Peterson site, uh, Nevilagazi Street, and also um, the Soweto Towers. Eventually, with the profits, buy more uh, one bike, share with the guys, and eventually, we started hosting walking tours, tuk tuk tours, bicycle tours. And in that way, in that manner, we are more closer to the people. And this is what we talk about when we talk about the Rainbow Nation. My humble beginnings into the industry, I started in the industry when I was in my third year. So I started working for Seven Land when I was in my third year. I, I, I don't know, it was a lot of hard work that needed to be put in. I don't know how I did it, but I did it all these years, 18 years later, and here I am. The success of the show and the success of my role, Irolia Mitale is a cleaner and, and now she's this renowned businesswoman. And yeah, it's been amazing. Mimi's own prospects have blossomed into parts in Afrikaans movies and as a guest judge on a hit reality TV cooking show. But drama is where her heart is and we could see it backstage. I am getting my makeup done for my very, very long busy day today on set. <laughs> I've got quite an emotional day today. My character is going through a lot, family drama. I mean, what's a soapy without family drama? <laughs> I'm actually laughing. I shouldn't be laughing. I think I should be quite serious so I can internalize my emotions to come out. <laughs> Whew. Okay. And I am almost <laughs> set ready. What I love about being on the set particularly is the ability to do what I love, to wake up every day and come here and tell Aggie's story as authentically as possible and to share my talent with the viewers. We've worked with so many people in this set, some have come and gone, but I want to just single one person right here, Mimi Nobuhle Matlasela, whom has become a beautiful friend of mine. Mimi's caring, Mimi's hardworking, what a phenomenal actress. And Mimi's the one who held my hand and said, this is how things go on this beautiful set. In fact, we met at TT back in the day because we went to the same school, but and so many years later, we come on this lovely, lovely set. It's about to be an end of a beautiful era, Seven Day Line after 23 years. And what I can say is it doesn't end here. So much love for memes. I wish her all the best in the industry, and she's done so much. Salute. Standing by. Thank you. Going for a take. In five, four, three. Deepa! Oh! Deepa! Oh my goodness! Cut. Having spent nearly 20 years telling the story South Africa lives each day, Mimi found this all so real, looking out over a city where every weeknight her show found new audiences. 
All right, so this is our nice view. Yeah, uh, where it just gives, you know, a nice view of the landmarks. Yeah. You can see we have the towers there. Yeah. We have, of course, the stadium. Ah, oh, nice. So in any direction you look, uh, this is Soweto. But of course, it's not the whole Soweto. Yeah. You know, it goes beyond than what we can see from here. Yeah. You know, remember we have 41 different townships within, uh, Soweto. within yeah. Soweto. Yeah. Also, Nick Lemping, I like Kaya. I think they did pretty well Uguba the camping site, so that's amazing. They also have a fresh garden, organic garden, lay at the entrance, so that's very nice. Gardening is one way Mimi copes with childhood trauma. Another lies in her natural ability to empathize with others. The history of Soweto, how much do I know about it? Obviously, with the history that we have, I mean, it's got iconic sites like Abo, Hector Peterson sites, Nelson Mandela site, and it's got 41 townships within it. So it, it, it's a big place. Uh, <laughs> it, it thrives in its pride in being successful uh, when it comes to businesses. There's a lot of businesses. So it's, it's a hardworking community. I think in doing Aisho about the Soweto, it's a hardworking community. My tour today was very enlightening fun and also very educational because we tend to forget as much as we know history age, we tend to forget what what we have as a history age and we are rich in that sense as an actress miss machasela has contributed to that history with a decades-long storyline reflecting south africa's journey how do i feel about seven land coming to an end I don't think I've fully processed yet, even though I know what's going on. I am sad. I am also proud of the work that we've done and the success of the show. Uh, I'm also proud of myself because it's, Afrikaans is my third language. So to have worked on my third language for 18 years, <laughs> I'm, I'm extremely proud of myself. What will I be taking away from Seven Land? I'll definitely be taking away the knowledge of the multicam. I mean, I've been doing it for so many years. I'll definitely be taking that away. Also, the skill of directing. I was one of their trainees for directing. So yeah, I'll be taking that away with me. We spent the day with Mimi and talked around her true emotions about the cast, crew, and time on this hugely popular drama. Only towards the end did she really let it show. of what the show has achieved. I'm proud of what I've achieved as an individual. I've worked really hard at, uh, on this. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's been an amazing ride. I'm excited for what's to come, as emotional as I am right now. <laughs> I'm proud of what I did on the show and I'm proud of everyone that worked on it as well. So yeah, thank you to the viewers and for the love and support throughout the years.